how did we get here? I used to know you so well. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Um, I know. Hey, Willie Mac made a video. I have to watch the video. I'm contractually obligated to do so. Sorry, not sorry. Before we, it's about Mama Max, but apparently I'm in it, and you guys know that I'm very vain, and I will watch anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm still curious. Also, this is you know I had gotten this hat the other day. I am Knuff. Guess what? This hat isn't Knuff. What is Knuff is the Willie Mac uh, Drama Farm Piker City USA hat. Okay, it's an it's the only hat you'll ever need. Use code Papa Gut at discount to get zero percent off. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's called Mama Max won't stop here. My wife actually got me this hat for Christmas. It's a nice hat. Let's get this party started. The biggest collapse of a, this might be the biggest collapse of a channel in YouTube history where the person's entire brand is a lot. Max frames himself as a professional predator hunter, having caught many criminals. I'm the pedo hunting guy. I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. I'm the pedo hunter, and leviathans are coming for you. Willie Mac, I've noted, I've noted your silence when it comes to Camden Gerard Davis. The leviathans are coming for you. The leviathans are coming for you. Which, which one is the best one? We have the right guy, like we always do. We have the right guy, like we always do. Camden Gerard Davis. Arresting predators is something everyone could get beyond it, netting him over $15,000 a month on Patreon. Except he hasn't caught anyone. Zero proof of anything. The destructive. Yeah. You know what's interesting? And you could quote me if I'm wrong, or you correct me if I'm wrong. But I remember, do you guys remember the guy, the Alex Rosen guy that uh, went after EDP a while ago and botched that? My understanding is now he's like be, be getting praised by police officers for how well he's doing and how like I and it, I saw a very little bit. I hope I'm not wrong. And it's like follow his follow, follow his growth. That guy who's like he made a mistake, a big mistake on the way he handled it, and then he's corrected the mistake and it seems to have actually gotten people put away. But no, we got the freaking Max over here that's just like virtue signaling on it. You know what I mean? It's like crazy. You have some growth. Follow that guy. Apparently he's, I mean, from what I understand, and I could be wrong again, he seems to be the most uh, you know, reputable reputable hunter out there right now. Working with police. Work with police. Get them done. Make content out of it. I don't care about that. But work with the police. Make sure that you actually do something and you're not just trying to content farm out of it. Cult that has victimized <clears throat> hundreds of ch The leader oh, is no. still active. Is that him? This is the real deal. This is the re this is the real deal. Leviathans are coming. Law enforcement has failed us. Oh God! Have it, it's the law enforcement will fail you if you don't even contact them. It is unfortunate. <laughs> Solid evidence. What what world we live in? We are saving for the legal case. He doesn't have anything. His lawyers told him. So. Uh, he has witness testimony. So, even worse, he's been fabricating information and outright lying to his audience. Nicholas DiOrio and Muda have made videos blowing this story wide open. True, and you know what? My reactions to both of them got demonetized. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Max is having, like, like his people go around and trying to, like, report the videos or something. You know what I mean? So I want to touch on some of the behind the scenes over the years when it comes to Max, as well as the fallout of this entire cancellation. The key takeaway I want you to have coming into this video is that Max has never caught a predator. So you've never That's actually funny. gotten a file arrested? <laughs> uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, I feel like you would probably know that. He doesn't even go to the cops. Well, now that you guys are sort of getting a case together, don't you think it'd be a better idea to, before the video to give it to the authorities again now that you have, you're like all together and you can sort of go as a collective to the uh, police? I well, no, because oh, as we know, police love black guys, so they would make sure Camden was innocent. <laughs> I mean, we could have done that, but at the same time, with the the track record that we you guys think that they didn't go to the police because this girl was was by her own account apparently involved in the um, inappropriate nature of Camden Gerard Davis's activities, and so she's like, I don't want to, I don't want to make myself look guilty. You know, I don't know. We've already seen it just didn't really seem realistic without having more of us survivors to do this. What? Yes, I th feel the urgency of the matter requires all of us to start bringing the survivors together. I don't want to wait for the bureaucracy of the vampire survivors. Very inexpensive on Steam, guys. Great fun game of law enforcement to take their time. When Max talked to a lawyer about his case, he allegedly said there wasn't enough evidence. So when we reached out to the lawyer, 
He told us it would not be beneficial to pursue a case against Camden Gerard Davis because he likely does not have substantial assets. So he recommended for 118 hours. Not too bad. It's a fun game, bro, and it's cheap. Buy it. All right. It, uh, buy Vampire Survivors. It goes to support the victims of Camden Gerard Davis. Recommended that we all go in person to report him to the police station that is in his jurisdiction. Then why didn't you? From a lot of creators' perspective, it seemed like the only point of- Well, he only makes like $15,000 a month. How could he possibly get himself and the, the survivors there? It's not like he could ask them for more money to do so. Max's video was to get people to shout him out. 2023, Max's big video was a Trojan horse, where the idea was to criticize big content creators for making videos on Sniper Wolf instead of talking about his video on Cameron Gerard Davis. He even ends it with a hashtag. Let's set an example of responsible influence. Bro, he has like the, the man of many voices. That's what we should just call Mama Max now. He's a mythical creature. What is he doing? Starting with this very exchange, your presence here is more than just a view count. It is a small step toward action. <laughs> hashtag we are real. Showing a picture of one of the alleged- Hey, hashtag Horton hears a who. We are real, we are real, we are real. Or is it we are here? Okay. Victims. Nobody has been able to jump on the story with Max because there is no story. His evidence was saying Camden groomed hundreds of girls into his werewolf cult and showing ran- But, and only five remained in that cult, but somehow there weren't enough people with any factual evidence to be able to do anything. Random DMs. The man had recruited hundreds of young children. Oh my God. Subjecting them to sending CP. Oh no. That I have on my hard drive. <laughs> Doesn't this guy have it in like his mega share drive is like CP or something? Assault oh. and attempted trafficking. He then Whoa. shows a uh, social- Att How would it be attempted if he was able to get them across state, li state lines? Wouldn't that be actual trafficking? Social media direct message from, I assume this is the app Whisper. Uh, I was bitten by a wolf. That's how I became one. Can you show you in your form? Werewolf form. Wow. Correct me if I'm wrong. And again, if you read the chat, I was bitten by a wolf. That's how I became one. Can you show you in your form, werewolf form? What's the context? Getting sucked by Kirby equals raisin balls. Uh, what is the context here? How does this explain the cult? How does uh, this explain- uh, Mutafar, if you don't get it, uh, then you know what? That's a you problem. Okay. Explain I get it. It just makes sense to me. Kirby, Kirby raisin balls. Yeah. Anything. This is why people are what was mad. It? What was he it again? He is presenting these screenshots like they're damn- Getting suck, getting blank sucked by Kirby equals raisin. Incredible. Damning evidences. He has this as a permanent picture in the corner of his stream, cementing that this guy what thing. has hundreds of victims, but zero evidence of even one existing. And when it comes to Camden's supposed victim, Spencer, her testimony is just absurd. On March 18th, 2016, Spencer, a 16-year-old girl from Wiley, Texas, mysteriously disappeared, lured by the illusion of joining a supernatural family as a vampire on some random corner of the internet. I don't know, man. If this was true, I mean, listen, if you're 16 you got convinced by an 18-year-old that they're a vampire to go lure you to live in their trailer park or whatever, I mean, maybe you deserve to get lured at that point. You really believe that that person's a fucking vampire, dude? What's wrong with you? She actually found herself ensnared. In a dangerous snare cult that would let her leave every night. <laughs> also beat her and had four miscarriages, but she showed no physical signs when she would routinely go back to her the group home she was living at. Okay. Led I watched what she said. By a child <laughs> predator posing as a werewolf god. Wait, okay. so what did he convince? Wait, he wasn't just a werewolf, he's a god? Oh, now I understand how they got they got tricked. Now I get it. It's you to be. Like a werewolf he, or vampire, what are we talking here? He convinced me that I was a vampire, and then... How did he convince you that you were a vampire? Later on, after he... William after? Oh, God, like from Five Nights at Fre Fe Fazbear? Like five, like Freddy Five Bear? Oh, my God, dude. Quote, unquote, broke up with me. Um, I would... He had an unpopular take on Twitter about AI art and how it affects real people. I'll, uh, I don't know, is there a video you could uh, reference me to? I'd appreciate that. Is a hybrid of a werewolf and a vampire. Oh, a hybrid. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> was that the original story, or did he? Just, did she decide to add that into the story as that came? I don't understand. 
he got deep into it. That's all of Max's evidence. Random messages and a statement that is insane. It's rapist Twilight, apparently. If you're 16 years old and you want to bang a guy because you think he's a werewolf, an actual werewolf, then you deserve to be groomed. Ah, <laughs> dude, that's so fucked up. It's based. It's fucked up. That's terrible. I'm pretty sure I said that. <laughs> That's terrible. I think I said that in one of my other videos. <laughs> Listen, nobody deserves it. I'm just saying. There's no way you... I just don't believe that she actually believed she was a vampire. She was cosplaying with an autistic fucking guy. And then she and then they, the relationship didn't fucking work out. That's that's literally what I think it was. He was probably kind of shitty to her. Am I allowed to say that? Because it's how I really feel. Your parents failed you. <laughs> Even creators reacting to his video. At the hey, that's me. I'm a creator and I'm reacting. My beard looks so short here. What the fuck? The time we're hypercritical because of how little evidence Max had. Oh, this was at like the beginning, beginning. A world where these industries amass profits in the hundreds of billions. It Crazy. is unfathomable. <laughs> Crazy. Well, how they can still operate largely in a So, like, can you get to the, what's the situation? Escalation of human trafficking. There's nothing here. The, I, I, don't, I can't even sit through it. This is the third time he's saying the same shit over and over again. So, girl, here's my Patreon where people pay me money to virtue signal about topics I probably don't really care about. <laughs> Fucking base. Uh, okay, cool. So, we had no information here. There was no presentation of information. You didn't direct us where we could find out more about what's actually going on. What a tone deaf video. Here's the thing. <laughs> hey, base is always, baby. It's not just creators that don't know what's going on. Guys, I'm a creator now. Okay. Max doesn't even know what's going on. This all leaked from his call with Muda and Nick. I am in the server where they are posting evidence. Not all of them have walked me through what the evidence Damn. is as to what the context is. Okay, what so you can't fuck? verify the evidence then. What does that mean I can't verify it? You can't verify if what they're posting is legitimate. It means that there's a much them. larger issue here. Not only do we have no idea what's going on. But he doesn't even know what's going on. <gasps> it seems you like don't. you don't know what's going on. I do know what's going on. I don't know the complete story. You're the complete story. Oh That's your God. job, just to get the complete story out That's there. You understand crazy. how crazy this sounds? Yeah, why are you putting it all on me? Like, because it's your <laughs> case! <laughs> it. Why aren't you putting it on Spencer, too? Just put it on Spencer. Also, yeah, you suck, too, Spencer. I mean, she wants to be a fucking content creator, too. That's like the whole thing. Let's, hey guys, guys, we have to. We're gonna create an entire, an entire universe of like Mama Max characters. Mama Max, Auntie Spencer. We're gonna make an entire, like our own fucking, like literal superhero universe of this. Why are you absolutely? I am. Hey, it's been a while since I've been featured in a video. Okay, it's nice. To, it's nice to be back a little bit. That's all. It's more than I can ask for. Let's be honest here. First one. Yeah. You are the only, the only one. one. The majority of this video is Max hating on bigger creators for not shouting him out for his unsubstantial. Bro, watching his like unhinged, like he made fifty minutes of I think video, or maybe it was like thirty minutes, but of a uh, video for that one that was the basically what I would consider a level of cancellation to moist critical. Um, and it's just like an unhinged thing. I, I'm going to link in the description. All right, listen. And he's so jealous of so many different creators. He's like, it's my time now. Jack, Jack's, whatever. Jack's film's got his time. It's mine now. Substantiated allegations. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Oh, God. The Leviathans are coming. It's him begging Charlie in DMs to shout him out. Charlie, I hold on to the hope that you'll act in accordance with the integrity and goodness I've always known you to possess. He just wants a shout out. That's all this is. Mac. Yeah, at this point, if somebody did that to me and like went public with something like this to like uh, try to, oh, I mean, I would say almost blackmail me into doing this stuff, even if it was real, I'd be like, I ain't going to talk about it now, punk ass, pussy ass bitch. Is this about clout or? I know I'm petty, but fuck it. Is this about helping people? You didn't go to the police. Your lawyer said you didn't have enough evidence. And when you were in a call with Nick and Muda, you claim that allegations is evidence because chat GPT said so. Oh, not chat GPT, bro. <laughs> okay. So. I love how confident he was, too. He's like, look at this. Look at what I got, man. It's like a little kid showing you, like, their drawing. Look at this thing. A fucking artist. <laughs> Mom, Dad, look. I'm an artist. Ah, oh, yeah. That is a piece. That's a, that's a piece of paper with with marks on it. Yep. You're a real artist, son. That's you. You know, that's what we got here. That's what we got here. Oh, look at what I just sent you. <laughs> Muda, yeah, look you at this. Send me a chat GPT prompt. No. Oh, it's so nice. I'll put it right on the fridge, son. I'm going to have to take it down when the family comes over. 
because I don't want him to be jealous. But I'm going to put it right on that fridge. In legal definition. Dad, where did the picture go three days later? Oh, you know, it was uh, somebody came over and bought it. Wow, really? Yeah, I sold it to them. Here you go. I'm going to take you out for ice cream with the money. Wow, Dad, thanks. Boom. Although I think that the dad should have just told the kid that the picture sucked because that kid grew up and thought they were a good artist. And when they got denied art school, that's when the train started rolling and the oven started firing up. So sometimes it's good to rip the Band-Aid off young because you don't want your kid to turn out to be a fucking psychopath. Do you, I mean... We can argue legal semantics all no, we want. No, we're, we're not, not arguing lawyer. semantics. Semantics. We have to look at exact definition, Max. ChatGPT yeah. understands the legal system. Yeah. It is a human. ChatGPT is a human being. I don't know if you guys knew this, but it's like telephone operators. I don't know if you even know what those are. <laughs> you know, a human has to review everything that's put out. A professional. That's how it's so fast. He threatened Nick while he was making his video, saying, Your silence has been both <clears throat> noticeable and disappointing. Your response Damn. or lack thereof will not go unnoticed. He threatened to cancel Charlie for not promoting his video. Damn. But I am being the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. And I choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. It, like, it's the truth. <laughs> All right, good. Because I know some people are like, oh, he's probably just joking. Like, I think he was half joking, but he really believes that he could have at the time, like, had that profound effect on Charlie. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, Charlie, the Leviathans are coming, Charlie. I'm going to cancel you for not talk. Shout me out, Charlie. My Leviathan is literally coming. <laughs> Please, Charlie, shout me out. Shout me out. I've been gooning for so long, Charlie. Charlie, I need you to be release me. Shout me! Shout at me! You don't have to do it publicly, please, Charlie. Shout at me in private. So maybe stomp on it. Stomp on my Leviathan, Charlie. Please, I need you to. I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. And you're oh. terrible at it. It's like, what do you mean by that? Are you threatening to call Charlie a p pal? And he's always done this. He made weird, vague threats against Corpse's husband, trying to get a shout out. I know you have nothing to do with this. <laughs> But with all of your power, oh God, your power, and the favor you owe me, I've got the power. I just couldn't help myself. So, we jerk off. Remember when you reached out after years of not speaking to me while I was at the hospital tending to my sick girlfriend, <laughs> and you kept. Do you remember when my? Do you remember when my girlfriend had a? I can't. The voice is getting hard. <clears throat> Corpse husband. Do you remember when my girlfriend had a bellyache? And you kept messaging me. She had a kidney stone. <laughs> she was basically dying. And you asked me to do some work for you for money. Well, I never forgot about that. And it made me sad. I'm going to cash it in right now. Money in the bank, baby. Money in the bank right now. Trying to rush me home to do you a huge favor. And then you threw me under the bus for Man. something you did. And at the same time acted like you were taking full responsibility for it. It's about him saying the word retard. Who oh! Who cares? He's I care. That makes me very sad, Willard. Willard Macklemore. He's got to jump on your pedo allegations because of this. <laughs> yeah, because the gaming YouTuber is equipped to handle such allegations. He did this to the most popular YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, it probably is even more responsible to just not talk about it. Because it's like, yeah, man, gaming YouTubers? Like, what the fuck do they know? I mean, what do I know, too? You know, if anything, I'm being irresponsible, right? YouTuber <laughs> at the time, Shane <laughs> Dawson. I know you've done a lot of f***ed up shit in the past, and you don't really deserve everyone's forgiveness. <laughs> really not that bad. I don't care if it's a hot take. Shane Dawson, what he did was really cringe, but he like what he did was like on the line for YouTube back then, and he stopped before any criticism. He, I doubt they were all jokes. I don't care. But since you were one of the biggest creators in the <laughs> genre, standing up for what's right instead of wasting time on haunted houses would finally make you look good to the public once again. This is your chance to redeem yourself. Okay, redeem Don't yourself. Under it. I like how Max feels like he, like he has the power to help somebody redeem themselves. It's incredible. Video is called Pick. He's literally God, guys. Aside YouTube, and it came out in 2021. The implication is that if you don't shout out Max, then you're siding with pedophiles. I'm not even joking. I always say, man, they probably would win the fight. They're fucking oh, usually they're always older. This is what he does. A creator named Tommy C criticized Max for this unhinged behavior. Oh yeah, I was there too, guys. I was there. too. 
I was also there, guys, right with him. I was there. I was there. I was there with this obscure reference. You were two years ago. So beyond the realm of ridiculous, and I, I am generally shocked by the quality of YouTubers <laughs> that are not looking at this a little more critically. It is, it is just shocking to me and just how many um youtubers and I, I think i know where it comes from to some extent i'm afraid to be called a pedo and that's yeah. now now nobody cares again this was on the back of the me too movement which was a necessary movement but we got to a point of over affirmation like most advocacy things you go from like you know not enough advocation to a good amount to over advocation i think that amber heard is a perfect example of that um happening as well and that's really what happened and people were like afraid nowadays it doesn't matter everybody's a grooming pedophile i don't care call me one i don't care it doesn't mean anything because i'm not i already know i'm not Okay, I hate. I want to push kids into, onto the ground and, and hit them. I don't want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want to have the baby, but like, I know I'm not attracted to kids. I don't care. Like, you're gonna call me. Oh, you're, okay, cool, man. Like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter anymore. That's that's the only weapon people have now. Is that anytime they disagree with your take, they just call you a fucking pedo. It's like, okay, cool, man. Great. Exactly what happened. Max responded to Tommy by saying he sides <clears throat> with pedos. Actually, you know what? Before we even watch it, let's take a caller. Hi, you're live on the air. I pick pedophiles. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. I absolutely agree. Thank you so no, much but, for but I like how, again, this isn't even a criticism to, to like anybody. This is uh, it's the same as me. Like, I'm in the same boat as, as like Tommy and all them. But why are you, as a large creator, even bothering to respond from the criticisms from, to sm from smaller creators? Like, who cares? What, why, why is your ego so fucking insane to do it like this, too? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I understand, like, oh, maybe you want to do it in a more intelligent way or whatever but this is just unnecessary and like insane Seriously, I am a what i did not foresee however was when you accidentally aligned with actual files oh, along God. the way now he does clarify later that he isn't calling tommy a predator and that's not me calling you a pedo number four six eight five three but you kind of did that was the message your fans got as they called tommy a pedo over and over again he runs a cold where i feel bad for your children i hope they're safe that's what one of them said that's fucking crazy hold on that was the message your fans got as they called Tommy. damn okay child groomer i mean it's hard to groom adults I, you, obviously you're gonna go with children huh tommy a pedo over and over again he runs a cold where you aren't supposed to listen to anyone but him this is why i say look at behaviors and don't listen at uh guys uh this is why <laughs> I swear I usually say no look at behaviors. Uh somebody turn on the voice. Turn on the voice for me, guys. Guys, you forgot to turn my voice on. I'm actually very sexy. Listen to my vocal fry as I talk. Um, actually, what are you doing, dude? What are, why are you doing this to yourself? Don't like I feel like don't ever not do the voice changer. Like, what are you doing? You just sound like you sound like a like a like a little like a little snot sniffer. Actually, what are you doing? Pick a voice. Commit to it to words guys look at look at her behavior do not listen to her words and look at our behavior it's terrible your behavior is taking unsubstantiated and sometimes completely fabricated claims and pressuring phone. youtubers into promoting your channel and if they don't they're predators or they don't think the victim it's true i am just kidding victim should be platformed because i'm gonna tell you now lyrics had hella good points muda oh, once good. again had hella oh, good points once and you're not again. listening to them yeah, Max. And every I, time Muda talks to you for two times in a row. Every two, time, two I times. Two baby. live streams in a row. But two times Muda has talked to you, you <laughs> act like your daddy whooped your ass, oh. and you look like you're about to cry because you know his ass is right. Damn. Yeah, you don't. My real question is, is do you think that Max fucks Spencer or like pressures her into sexual engagement? I mean, that's a that's a that's obviously an unsubstantiated thing, but I mean, I don't know. Well, maybe she's if she's such a if she's such a uh, if she's so easily manipulated by this vampire werewolf. <clears throat> who's to say she still isn't? Maybe she's being manipulated. By, how many? How many? How long until until Spencer comes out with another video on her YouTube selling Max up the fucking river? Just wondering. Do what he says. What is wrong with you? Maybe you could just give me a blowjob. Oh, Max, your voice is so scary. I'll do the regular one. Um, Maybe you could just lick the tip a little bit. You know, what are we going to have? What's happening here? Um, so you don't want me to platform the survivors for live streams. When did I say I don't want them platformed? 
When did I say I don't want them platform? I mean, no, I don't want you to platform. What? It's not even. It's not even like a quite. Yeah, no, don't. Why would you? That this is one of the most insane things in the entire world is this thought that, first of all, there's zero. There is zero uh, internet footprint on this fucking vampire werewolf guy, so there's zero productivity of going on the internet. Second of all, like it's for anybody. I would say most people at least that have some kind of a trauma. It's more traumatic to publicly blast it. Oh, so you're saying you don't want me to promote? No, yes. You shouldn't be having Spencer try to make a YouTube page out of her supposed sexual assault. You shouldn't have any survivors on the internet talking about this. You should go to the police and try to get justice privately so that their entire life in a public setting doesn't get blasted about the most tra supposedly traumatic fucking moment of their life. No, you should not be blasting this on the internet. It is wholly and insanely irresponsible and just fucking stupid. No, you shouldn't be platforming them like this. No. Not ever like this. They're going to look back if there is a genuine thing there, and they're going to be so upset with this moment. Not just because he mishandled it, but just because people are going to know like that they're attached to this thing, and they're, it's going to make it more difficult for them to move on. That's why it's weird when people are so open and talking about this in the way that they're doing it. It's a vulnerable thing, and most people can't just go, yeah, you know, <laughs> vampire werewolf, he just kind of raped me once. <laughs> it's like, no, like this is why I don't believe Spencer. There's so many different things I've seen, so many different conversations I've seen they're talking in. No, I just, I don't. Her story will change with the fucking wind. I, you know, and maybe I'm wrong. And if I am, sorry, but like... <laughs> He's shoving words in Xylee's mouth. It's so horribly bad faith. If you're going to platform victims, do so responsibly. Have your receipts in order. You going about this so recklessly hurts creators who collab with you. It hurts your reputation, but most- I don't think any of them are hurting. Most importantly, it hurts the victim's <laughs> reputation. Fuck you, I survived. I have been doing commentary <laughs> since 2017, and I've seen poorly covered allegations year after year. Some innocent, some likely guilty. At what point is it too much? At what point should YouTubers leave it to the authorities before covering it? That's you should always bring it to the authorities, just in general, you know? That's why I like to use ground news. <laughs> when covering serious allegations on this channel, like the Andrew Tate case, it's important to source articles that stick to the facts. Ground News is an app and website that lets you see every side to every story, and helps you understand where the media bias is coming into play. There was recently there a story is. posted by Vice about how a guy escaped Andrew Tate's trafficking cult. Ground News clearly labels it as coming from a left-leaning source, and says that the article has some uh, mixed facts. I remember so I did an advertisement like this for something called Both Sides. Actuality. And when you read it, it's dead on with the entire article being this guy's testimony with no proof he was even part of Tate's program. The only thing making this Ooh, false accusations hurt everybody, guys. Story somewhat believable. Even if bad people are getting the false accusation against them. Well, is other people's leaks from Tate's course. This is why Ground News is so great, because you can see who's covering these stories and how reliable these articles are before you read them. So it doesn't matter if it's about the Russell Brand case or Andrew Tate or the US elections, Ground News is the only app that gives me the facts about the news straight up. And it prevents my own bias from getting in the way, showing me where I've been getting my news this month. I've done a few. Of course, it's an ad, dude. We have to watch the whole thing. Few ads with Ground News now. I'm the one that reached out to them <sighs> because I think what they're doing is important. Go to ground.news forward slash Willie Mac and get 30% off the Vantage plan, which is what I use. Or you can try their pro plan for less than a dollar a month. Check them out. I want them to be a longtime supporter of the channel. Thank you, Ground News, for sponsoring this video. We gotta find. Oh shit, Max is a predator, damn. The craziest part about this story to me is Max saying that allegations are evidence. So, oh yeah. Look at what I just said. I didn't know where it was going, I should have. <laughs> Thank you. This is the problem with this situation. You're going in with evidence that can't be 100% corroborated. You're going in with allegations as an evidence. Courts would laugh why? you out. This is wildly hypocritical seeing why? that Max has allegations against him. Five ex-girlfriends have come forward. Hello everyone. Welcome back to an exclusive. Bro, it's just never consistent, even the deep voice. I'm a Max cancellation video. Have I ever thought about doing debates? I, not really. Like, what, what am I going to debate? You know? What, what am I? I'm not even. I don't think I'm a very good debater. And even if I was, I could do a nice conversation, but about what with who, you know? Yeah. So today, uh, my <sighs> exes are, as always, accusing me of rape, pedophilia, mm. animal abuse. Domestic, Must be true, because they have testimony. Domestic abuse, kidnapping, and whatever else they can attribute to me. Guilty. Lock them up. Allegations are evidence. <laughs> when his accusers would villainize everyone who didn't believe in them, Max would act like it was a ridiculous thing to do. So according to Paulina, if you believe that I am innocent of these allegations, then you are either an incel, a f wit, 
or an abusive asshole. Wow. Uh, all three right here, baby. <laughs> Max, your ex sounds just like you. You were perfect for each other. How'd you let them go? Max's response to the allegations was to call one of their boyfriends a pedophile. Anthony Field. Yeah, for the allegation that when he was 18, he might have sexed a 15-year-old. Again, not that big of a deal. Again, not ideal. I think it's inappropriate. Predatory? Not a chance in fucking hell. It's Matthew T. And definitely not a pedophile. $1.99. Papa Gut has spoken. Incredible. Thank you. <laughs> That's an old meme. Haley's boy. You think I do pretty good? Ah, maybe, man. I don't know. Like, what is it? What would a debate be about? You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like sometimes it's like I would I would never want to be the content creator that like does debates, you know? Um I'm not trying to just have like a bad faith conversation with people. You know what I mean? But I, I would have conversations if I felt it could be productive with somebody. <clears throat> Magnetar on YouTube. <gasps> Magnet the guy. The one who published this video oh, on me. Oh my god. <laughs> Max's oh. proof is allegations from an unknown person where they were both friends while they were both in high school together. So I don't really get how that works. I've known this girl since she was a child. And I believe what she says. Why was a child? This is not a red flag for us back in the day. This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. This video is so telling because he does the same thing he did to Tommy. I'm not saying he's a pedo. Yes, you did. You already called him that. And I feel this is not enough evidence to build an entire case against him. So I have not and will not until we have more proof. He says this to make wow, it seem what a responsible guy, even though you've already come forward with the allegation. Like he has integrity. His evidence against this guy is the same evidence he has against Camden. None. Max then reiterates less than one minute later that the guy's a predator, making his previous statement pointless. I guess it's... Oh, no, the point is to make it seem like he's a nice, virtuous guy to his audience of fucking morons. Poetic that my abusers try to take me down. Why is he saying a child? He's saying that he apparently Max knew her as uh, since she was a child because it's like his sister or something. I don't know. He's, he's all over the place. Um, with the help of a pet. Dude, oh you just said that there wasn't enough evidence. Max's accusers don't have enough evidence for Max to be considered guilty of anything. But they have more evidence than Max ever has when making his allegations. You could take everything Max says and flip it on him. The fact that they're trying <gasps> Did you just say the Defler? And to profit off of subjects like rape and CSA. Oh God! It's probably I rather profit off a of CS go. One of the most disgusting things you can do as a human being. Oh no, Max! You guys are the reason oh, Max. why it's Max. so goddamn difficult. Stop talking into a mirror, a mirror, a mirror, buddy. Difficult to believe actual victims. It seems to be their pattern. If you don't believe them, you're gonna get harassed. It is why he uses manipulative language so that I can't defend myself without people immediately thinking I am lying. It is why he has been trying so hard to pester small commentary channels to cover the story. <laughs> we're it is why he refused to handle everything privately and legally. He is the predator. You are the predator. In his video where he's falsely accused, he uses it to falsely- Uh, ChatGPT, do I have lupus? Accuse people. It's poetic. <clears throat> I literally love you, Charlie. I literally love you, dude. Max has been caught dead lying about everything. The predators he's caught. Hell, he's even admitted faking stuff in his video for artistic purposes. Uh, it's not fake, okay? It's, and here, you, I'm, <laughs> all jokes aside, I'm not even going to make a joke because uh, I don't have the brain power to do it and I'm fucking burnt out. But here's my thing. Like, uh, you know, news stories, I guess, maybe not news stories, but there are places that do that all the time. I've seen them on TV that will create a reenactment to try to drive a point home. But they always say on the screen, this is a reenactment. And it's like, why wouldn't you just do that? And I think it's because he wanted you to think that it was real. It wasn't like just supposed to like seem like a reenactment. It's supposed to seem real, you know? The investigations themselves are real, but the obviously the films have fictional elements. Like it's a film, like it's... It's just art, guys. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I am presenting it as if it's it were... Art. Guys, be, you don't understand this is freaking art. Real, but I didn't think people would take Dad, you don't fucking get it. I'm supposed to be a fucking artist. Kid has that. Like, but wait, you no, son. The doctor said you were autistic. Miles, you don't think that people are going <clears> to <throat> think your videos... And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Okay? I know lots of autistic people. They're the best people. Let's be real. It's a real... So, so, that's the thing. So, I want everyone, when you watch... They always tell me about all their special interests. And I love it. My video to assume everything is fake, except like when I show a piece of face and what they're doing. He's falsely accused people because they don't believe his art should be trusted. And when people falsely accuse Max, he falsely accuses them back. Oh God, look at this guy. Is that, is that Hassan Minaj? 
getting rejected by a white woman? It's such psychotic behavior. I wanted to talk to Max to see if there was some other explanation for all of this. It is the most elaborate lie sent. Is that John Swan? It's John Swan. It looks similar. I messaged him asking, are you going to respond to all of this? And he replied, right now my priority is on the survivors. Once things cool down, I'll respond to everything. What more could you be doing for the survivors at this point? You haven't gotten anyone arrested and your lawyer says you don't have enough evidence. What could you possibly be busy with? Maybe pressuring them to kiss him. You don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I said, I don't see why you would make this up outside of just wanting more clout. Is there some detail people are missing? Do you want to talk so it's not such a dog pile? Max responded, there's a lot of detail people are missing. We're explaining everything in a documentary. Is oh, we can't wait for the documentary that's going to be up for a day. This where all the evidence is going to be? I just, it's just it's Somebody in the chat, okay? If that documentary comes out, save it immediately. Anybody in the chat, save it uh, literally immediately. I'm telling, I'm being serious. Okay, because that thing's going to go down, it's going to go up, and it's going to go down immediately. I just don't know if I have the if patience for another out. art piece where I had to determine what's real and what's fake. I assume it has to do with his Silence All Survivors trailer, which was posted to his Patreon. He continues, I do want to talk, and I appreciate you reaching out. I really appreciate it, Willie Mac. Just right now, there is much more sense. I think the problem, Willie, is that he saw what happened last time when you talked to Hassan, how bad that went for Hassan. So he's being smart and he's ignoring you. Sensitive issues that require my immediate attention. I'm down to have a conversation in the future about everything if you'd like. I'm down, and I genuinely hope he's on track to deal with this the right way. He talks about it a bit in his response video. I just completed a 30-minute video Sorry, I had a fart. called Silencing All Survivors. Well, you kind of did. This is a little poetic because that's pretty much what you did. That by, by approaching this the wrong way and nobody wanted to hear it. Addresses pretty much everything. Uh, it addresses criticisms. It addresses my approach. It, I, it includes apologies. It includes... Um, a call to action on Camden. Do you have any evidence this time around? Because this is all he's been doing, so. Because if not, don't make the video. Max then apologizes to Charlie. I'm sorry to Charlie. I'm sorry, Charles. I really am sorry. I did not mean to make you upset. Sorry to Charlie for dragging him in. I mean, you literally did. You tried to bully him into talking about the topic that you wanted to talk about. What? To a... Into a case that is... Not necessarily his fight. And I'm sorry. You see how like upset he is just to say that? Because he doesn't believe it. I'm sorry to my audience who don't even know what the heck is going on. Again, you have no idea if these claims are legit. We're supposedly having hundreds of victims. It's weird how the only one we see is Spencer. He ends the video by... And she has a YouTube channel, guys. Speaking in vague terms. And people are... Making all these public attacks not platforming any of us, not wanting to talk to the survivors themselves. And when people do talk to the survivors... Wait, didn't he change this? Is he changed this again? How many times is he going to change this? Maybe I'm wrong. Anti Spencer, guys. Oh, just a video. 26K. Oh, I'm making so much money. Oh, Mama Max dancing for 10 hours. Every time we do a Max video, I like to watch this for a couple, a couple more hours, guys. Oh, whoa, look at the art here. He's dancing for 10 hours for survivors. The Leviathans are coming to dance right now. It's incredible. Because they're getting attacked. Just because they're transgender. Bruh, what are you talking about? Lyrics? He then gets the most scripted hug ever. <laughs> Come hug me, honey. His son's fake crying looked more real. His trailer <laughs> True. for the documentary is him complaining about how his Kickstarter was taken down. Our GoFundMe to support the survivors of child oh, sex God. crimes oh, committed God. by Camden Gerard oh, Davis Jesus. was mass reported and shut down. Damn. We stand at a pivotal moment in history for the voices of child sex crime survivors. The silence has already been overwhelming. The silence is deafening. Or it speaks volumes. And now powerful forces are trying to further mute our efforts. Look how manipulative this is. He's showing his critics tweets about him and frame. Uh, Mr. President, a second Mom Max video has hit the tower. Oh my God. I mean, it is if they're silencing the victims. You're the only one to blame. It's your shoddy reporting that made people second guess the victims. Don't blame them, blame yourself. <clears throat> Oh my god, he's crying! <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <laughs>
Oh, Jesus what a Christ. fucking bitch. Max, stop with the artistic stuff. The deep voice, the music, faking evidence. Videos that are this serious. Oh, uh, that's his real voice. If anything, he's faking the nerd voice. It should be very clear. Here's the allegations and here's the evidence to go with it. Nobody cares about anything else. Stop crying. Um, feels like when, when we reach out for help, people just want to use that opportunity to, to attack us. Do you use the voice changer when you have sex with your wife? Is there the girlfriend or Spencer? I'm just genuinely curious. Just a genuine question. I wonder what he does. Use the voice I like, honey. Oh, the Leviathans are coming. Oh, the Leviathans are coming. You know? To hate on me? It's hard. I'm hard, dude. This is really hard. Oh, dad. It shouldn't is, be this hard. Just be upfront about what you have. Also, stop making these hashtags trying to drag creators down with you. If you have a strong enough story, people will want to talk about it. Look at everybody talking about you right now. Am I in there? You. If you have a strong enough story, people will want to talk about it. Look at Let's see. We have to make sure we have to see if I'm in there. All right. Or else, it's a, or else he's a fake fan. Oh, dude. He's not going to be in there, dude. This guy's a fake fucking fan. I wore the hat for you, dude. I'm just fucking around, dude. Moral of the I was in the literal video. <laughs> story, if you're a victim, don't go to Mama Max. If you're a predator, make sure your victims go to Mama Max. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and be sure to check um, out Ground News. Beast. Stop getting your news from YouTubers. Shout out. True. That's true. To the homies over on Patreon. Here we go, baby. Thieves, Crimson Glass, Christina Vina, Mac Monkey, Drain Kobex, Necro Valley, Stefan Billman, Friday yeah. 13, Abby Blackbird, Eddie Bizzle, Tiz McFitz, Christopher you know H, deal, Kinklemore, guys. and the mega homies, Ronald Hughes, Hellison, you know deal, IGP, guys. Zombie Fox, Your Taxi, Latchkey, Gothboy, Cyber Katie, Lori Loaded, Papa Gun. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful end. <laughs>